are at top of Dubrovnik right now. Uh, we took the cable car up here to see this vast landscape of mountains after mountains. The whole horizon is filled with mountains. It's very peaceful and beautiful here. Uh, behind me you have uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina and uh, down there there's Montenegro. But below this mountain you have Dubrovnik, the beautiful medieval town still kept as it was and uh, it's really cozy I mean we have a small small apartment down there uh, for some days um, it's sort of a mix between medieval uh, medieval streets and architecture and the modern commodities of life like you know internet Wi-Fi electricity hot water and all that so uh, have a look Best time to visit Dubrovnik is off season, like in many other places. You don't get the swarms and masses of people, although even now in November there can be uh, guided tours and such. But you actually get to walk uh, to walk the streets in a normal setting. Uh, it's not so baby friendly, but when it's off season, you you have many places and the spots to choose if you want to change diapers or breastfeed. And if, if you're lucky, maybe the restaurant or cafe has a big toilet. We're staying inside the walls, so um, for us, um, we, we have close to our apartment. Anyway, there's no point in bringing, bringing your stroller here because a baby carries all that is good enough. Um, we began traveling a month ago, and she was uh, three months back then. Now Florence is four months. Uh, early under that we wouldn't do it but the baby carrier is the way to go uh, be aware that Dubrovnik is more expensive than other tourist locations in the region here so um, make your own food if you have a kitchenette and um, inside the old city there's a market and a consume and small mini market so you can always get by uh, with fresh food um, and there's also a vegetarian restaurant so uh, you basically have everything here um, to spend a to spend a good time with your family. <laughs> My Northman wife is uh, catching the sun and uh, still amazed that it's it's November here and um, it's sort of really hot in the sun, but it's colder in the shadow. It's about 20, 23 Celsius during the day and um, in the nights it's maybe 10-12 Celsius. Perfect time for a visit of Dubrovnik, you know, Mostar, Montenegro, this whole region. Uh, you get so much for yourself and uh, even now if you were to go out to an island uh, with a ferry you, you could get good prices and uh, yeah, really enjoy yourself. 
So uh, that's that. Enjoy and all the best. Take care.